Denny may have even bigger problems as if he doesn't have enough <laughs> right now because one of his very close associates has now been charged with a felony that could land him in prison for years. But there may be a caveat here because it could be that this guy, his name is Brendan Paul, might flip on Diddy. Yeah, because now uh, he could be uh, facing some serious jail time uh, and now that he's been charged with felony possession of cocaine and also marijuana candy. So we should explain. this. We're going to go back to the day of the raids. Day of the raids. Uh, as the houses, uh, Diddy's houses are being raided, he is at Miami's Opalaka Airport about to get on his private jet, and they are stopped by the cops there. And so here's the shot of the jet. Yes. Now, we, we'll, we'll show you. Actually, Brendan Paul is there. He's next in to handcuff Diddy. there, being walked away. Diddy's in the blue pants. Um, and the state officials took him, took, him, uh, took him aside. And they charged, they have charged him with possession of cocaine and marijuana candy. Now, this carries a pretty hefty prison sentence. And the question... <laughs> why did the why are why is Florida jumping like this to charge this 25 year old? Yeah, no, this is a huge development in this case because, as you said, during that raid, officials say they found the marijuana lace candies and the cocaine. What he's been charged with is possession of cocaine, which, according to these charging documents, is a third degree felony. And he faces up to five years in prison. That's how they've charged it, as a third-degree felony. And he faces significant prison time. Now, that's important for Diddy because this ongoing criminal investigation, Brendan Paul might have information, and he might be willing to give up information to get a less, a lighter sentence from the officials. But it's interesting here because that is a federal investigation, and this is a state law crime. So how that links up together will be interesting well, to Well, it's easy, it's easy to know. You have two law enforcement agencies, and work they together. work with each other. I mean, they work together for the raid. That's so. right. They work together for the, although Florida was really just accompanying sure. the feds. Yeah. But it would not be unusual for the state to cut a deal with this guy um, in return for cooperation.